Thank you so much for joining me once again on my Instrumental Variable Series. My name is Ngozi Adelaye, founder of Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will be showing you how you can perform the endogeneity and instrument relevance test. I will be conducting the Wu Husband exogeneity test and the Sagan instrument exogeneity test. Please, before you watch this video, please make sure you watch all the videos in my Instrumental Variables playlist. I have provided both the data and the Stata do files for you to replicate the analysis. If you click on the video description, you will see links to the do file and the data on my ResearchGate profile, freely available for you to download. Now, this is the structural model we've been working with, the multivariate structural model, where education, eduk is endogenous. In this tutorial, I will be using two instruments to correct that endogeneity, father eduk and mother eduk. And both instruments must satisfy the exogeneity and relevance properties. So let us begin with the Wu husband exogeneity test. These are the steps you have to undertake. First thing first, estimate the reduced form model obtain the predicted residuals, go ahead to estimate the structural model. Now you will include the predicted residuals as part of that um, specification, okay? Then check the statistical significance of the coefficient of the predicted residual. Now, if that coefficient is significant statistically, it means that a duke is endogenous. But if that coefficient is not significant statistically. It means that a duke is exogenous. So please don't uh, confuse it. You can also proceed to perform an F test or a T test on the predicted residual. Check the p value. If it is above 0 0.05, the null hypothesis that a duke is exogenous is sustained. Otherwise, the null hypothesis is rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis that a duke is endogenous. There are two ways by which you can express the Wu husband hypothesis. You can express it as null hypothesis being stated as exogeneity of a duke against the alternative hypothesis of endogeneity of a duke. Or you can express it as null hypothesis predicted residual is equal to zero which implies exogeneity against the alternative hypothesis that the predicted residual is not equal to zero, which implies endogeneity. And don't forget, the predicted residual is obtained from the reduced form regression. So to perform the exogeneity test, let us go to Stata. Don't forget to click on the video description to obtain the do file and the data. So here we are. I'm going to start with the reduced form model. You can see education as a function of x bar, x bar squared, then the two uh, instruments. I'm controlling for heteroscedasticity. After that, I'm going ahead to predict the residual from that regression. Next up, I'm going to estimate a structural model where I will now include the uh, predicted residual. As part of the uh, as part of the specification, then I will test uh, the predicted residual and make my conclusion. All right, if you are with me, let's proceed. So I'm going to highlight all together and let's see what we have. So here we can see the result from the reduced form model, where we have education as a function of the independent variables and the two instruments. Our main focus here will be the coefficients of the two instruments, father and mother's education. Both of them are positive and very significant at the 1% level, which indicates that these two instruments are relevant. But we are not going to stop at that. We are still going to scientifically test if these instruments are indeed relevant, okay? Then I predicted the residual, which I added to the structural equation, and this is the result. Again, the coefficient that we are most interested in is the v-hat. Positive, but we are more concerned about the p-value. It is more than 0 0.05, is even more than 0 
So this is not significant at the 5 and 10 percent level, clearly indicating that a duke has been corrected for endogeneity. It is now exogenous. And look at the test. It's a, a, an F test for a single variable is the same thing as a T test, okay? That is why the p value of the F test here is the same thing as the p value of the T statistic, 105. So clearly above 0 0.05, even above 10%, indicating that a duke is now exogenous. So picking from my PowerPoints, all the results I showed you on Stata are all here. So this is the first one from the reduced form model and the instruments are showing to be relevant to the model with positive coefficients and very significant p-values. Again, from the adjusted structural model, we are interested in the v-hat and we can see from the p-value, it is not significant at the 5% level also at the 10% level. So clearly, a duke is exogenous. From the test statistic here, F statistic here, the p-value, 0.104 is clearly above 5%, which indicates that uh, we cannot reject the null hypothesis of exogeneity. So a duke is exogenous. And this implies that the predicted residual does not contain any information relevant to a duke. As a shortcut, you can use Stata inbuilt NDOG syntax to check for endogeneity of a variable. So here you are, can see on the screen the IVA regress to state least squares syntax. I'm going to highlight and execute. So using the IV regress to state least squares approach, this is the result. And let me explain the syntax uh, in a moment. You can see the log of weight dependent variable. A duke here is the endogenous variable. And these two are the instruments. So a duke equals father a duke and mother a duke, okay? And these are the two independent variables and I'm controlling for heteroscedasticity. So right here, we have the results from the two stage list squares. Below the table are the information that we use to process the analysis. So this is what we're interested in. The test result from the endogeneity test. Recall, the null hypothesis here shows variables are exogenous. We are most interested in the p-value of that test statistic. Clearly above 10%, clearly above 5%. So here we can conclude that education or educ is exogenous. So either you use the manual approach I showed you, or you can use the inbuilt and doc syntax of Stata. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can test for instrument relevance. It is quite simple, and this is the code that you have to execute. First of all, estimate the reduced form model, then test for the relevance of both instruments by executing this code. Test, then the two instruments. So this is it. So here you have the results from the reduced form model. This is the results. And from the results itself, I can actually make my conclusion that both instruments are relevant to the model. Coefficients positive, value in particular significant are the 1%. But beyond that, you can proceed to scientifically test them, which is what I did here. And the null hypothesis is that the two coefficients are equal to zero against the alternative that the two coefficients are not equal to zero. Look at the p-value of the F statistics, very significant at the 1% level. So we are rejecting the null hypothesis that the coefficients are zero. So this shows that the coefficients are not equal to zero and they are relevant to the model. So that is how you test for instrument relevance. So this is what I just showed you from Stata, testing for instrument relevance. And from the p-value, we have been able to conclude that both instruments are relevant, okay? So this test validates instrument relevance. So if you don't know how to perform the test before, now you know how to do it. These are the five test books that are used to develop the instrumental variable series. You can choose any of them that you know you are comfortable with. And if you have any other simpler test books, please go ahead to read them just for you to uh, strengthen your understanding about instrumental variables. I also have publications where I use the IB technique. They are on my ResearchGate account. If you are interested, reach out, connect with me, and you can download the papers free of charge. Thank you so much for watching. I just wrapped up the Wu Husband Exogeneity and Instrument Relevance Test. Please don't go away. 
I'll be showing you how to perform the Sagan Instruments exogenicity test.